Hello everyone, welcome back to the Nesna Scripting Tutorials. This video is going to be a, one of a handful of showcase videos where I'm going to show off scripts that have been created by the Denison community. Um, the goal is to help you get them configured and set up on your server so that everyone can use and appreciate things written by other people. We're going to start off this series with a, a script that I made called the PvP Guild. You can find it on the script repository. Um, it starts off with this guy right here and he's going to introduce us to the PvP Guild and the goal of this script is to give players some incentive to kill each other on PvP servers. So to get into the guild we're going to have to go through a set of challenges and we'll tell him we're ready to do so and he's going to set us off on our first quest. I w went ahead and set the quantities rather low for the sake of this video so the first quest is just to kill two zombies. So we'll go down here to my little corral, and I will spawn two zombies. And then, you'll see that as I kill them, it lets you know in the chat. And as soon as I kill the proper quantity, it tells me to return back to the NPC. So when I return to him, he'll be excited, and then he will give me a reward. In this case, 250 coins. I can come back and talk to him. He'll set us off on our next challenge, which will be to prove ourselves against slightly more nimble opponents, skeletons. Again, it's just two skeletons this time, and those values are just set low so we can get through this quicker. So I'll go ahead and spawn a couple skeletons. And just like the zombies, as I kill them, it shows down there in the chat. So for a player, he doesn't have the luxury of spawning their own zombies or skeletons. As they're out at night, they'll be able to keep track of how many they've killed. When we get back to him here, again, he'll be excited for us, and he'll give us another reward. Um, the reward and the quantities are all configurable. I'll go over that at the end of this video. And then we come back for our final challenge. And I'm sure you can guess at this point, the final one is going to be kill a couple creepers. So we'll go down here again. No. We'll come over here and we'll say yes. And then we'll come back to him when we've completed. Spawn mob creeper one. And you'll see just like before, it counts the creepers. And just like previously, we return back to him. And this time when we talk to him. He is going to give us a reward and then direct us to the next part of the, qu the quest. In this case, we need to talk to the guild master. Um, while I did not properly denote it, the guild master is this guy up here. Um, so when we talk to him, he's going to be a little more stern with us and ask us if we're ready to join the guild. We're going to tell them we are. And then, this is where you actually need to do some PvP. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to hunt down a player. Player. Luckily, I have a Calico Kid here from the Denison Dev chat room. And he's going to be our poor victim. So when we kill him, you'll see that it lets us know in chat that we need to return to the guild master. We come back over here and the guild master is going to be surprised. We've proved our worthiness and it gives us a cool diamond sword. And lastly, you are officially a member of the PvP guild. You'll see that we now have an enchanted sword can't see because of the way the inventory is right now, but we have an enchanted sword, and we now have access to these two NPCs right here. Um, this guy here is going to be the daily PvP quest, and this guy is just going to be a small chain that will allow you to get some initial gear. We'll start off here, when we talk to him, you'll find out he's a little bit creepy. Um, so we are up for a little bit of fun. And in 
this case, we kind of turned the numbers down. We only need to kill one person. And luckily, Calico Kid is prepared to die. So we will return back to our NPC. See that he continues to get slightly more creepy. And as a reward, we got an enchanted diamond chest plate. And we now have the, uh, the option to come back later. So we'll talk to him again. And we are back for more blood. So now we have to go and kill some more. In an application, this time you would want to have them increase the amount of players they need to kill from the first one. But just because I wanted to make this quick, we're going to go ahead and keep it at one. So go ahead, murder him, and we've killed one person. And we come back again. You'll see he starts eating the person you've brought back to him. And you receive some more stuff for reward. And that's the end of that quest. If we come back to him, you'll see that it lets you know that, it's, that you've already finished this quest. And the only option at this point now is going to be the daily PvP quest, which is this guy. So we're going to go ahead and talk to him. Sorry about that noise, my dog. So this guy's a little more excitable. And it lets you know this is the daily quest. You can go ahead and start the daily quest. And we're going to go ahead and kill a person. Ah, he's up there this time. So... Trying to be slick and try to get me from behind. We've killed the one person. And we'll come back and we'll talk to him again. And now he's going to give us a bunch of random stuff. Um, the script configuration defines what stuff we get. Um, in this case, if we go to my survival inventory, he gave us. Protection 4 chest plate, a couple diamonds, and a spider eye. Um, you'll be able to edit that to whatever you want. The cool part about this is now, if I talk to him again, he'll say, come back tomorrow. And there's a 24 hour cooldown on this quest. So after 24 hours, it'll reset and you'll be able to do it again. Um, so that's the entirety of this script. It, I rushed it through a little bit so this video is not. 30 minutes long, but you get the idea. Um, it's a pretty fun little script and it's easy to implement. You just have to make sure you create four NPCs. Um, and now we'll switch over and I'll show you how to configure it. Okay, now we're going to quickly go over the configuration section. This is, I made it pretty straightforward using uh, constants in the script, so you should be able to edit it as you see fit. Um, you can get it from the script repository. Here's the link, I'll include it in the description. Um, and if you haven't been here before, definitely check out this website because it has a lot of scripts made by other people in the community. When you get the script, it'll have, I think, four or five configuration sections. The first one is for the initiation quest, so you can determine all of these variables. Um, the first couple are the quantities of mobs you have to kill for each quest. I had set these to two for the quest that we just did for the sake of time, but um, the, num the defaults I have are pretty, pretty good for making a thorough quest for a player. Um, the server name is just used to, I think one of the characters says, welcome to the PvP guild of your server name. Um, if you scroll down a little bit further, the guild master needs to know the name of the two other NPCs. They're going to have quests. And this is so he can tell you to go see them for more help if you talk to him again. He just calls them by name. Just go down a little bit further. These constants right here are for the um, 
what I call the skill enhance quest, which is the one where you go kill players and you get new gear and increase your PvP skills. Um, and you put the, ver the quantity in, and then you put the quantity in words for each section of the quest. And that just so he can communicate more um, elegantly. And then down here is the daily PvP. And there's a couple different variables in here. First is the quantity of how many players need killed every day. And then these two lists are the, um, the rewards. And the way the rewards are set up is there's three separate lists and you get a certain quantity of each, of, you get a certain quantity of an item off of each list. And currently it's set up randomly. And so the first armor list, which is going to return a random piece of diamond armor that's protection four, and then it's going to give you one of those. And then in the resources, it's going to return a random resource from 264 to 266, which I think is um, iron bars, gold bars, and diamonds, if I remember correctly. And then it's going to give you a random quantity from one to 10 of whichever one it picks. And then the miscellaneous list goes from item IDs 352 to 375, and those are just a bunch of random crap. I don't remember what they are off the top of my head. And it'll get, again give you a quantity between 1 and 10 of those. So all of that is going to be the reward for the daily PvP. And that makes it more interesting for players because they get all kinds of stuff when they, when they do it. Um, and it's set to 2 by default. On my server I use 5 to make it harder to complete. And then down here are the item scripts for the reward items. Um, you can change their their names, their enchantments, their uh, lore, um, and then you get down to the actual scripts themselves. It's all pretty complicated when you get to this part. Um, I I mean the, the script is rather lengthy, and if you don't know what you're doing, I wouldn't bother going past this configuration section. Um, and if you need any more help, just let me know. Um, like I said, I wrote this one, so I know a lot about it. And I'm hoping to make a couple more of these videos in the next, you know, next couple weeks. Mix them in with my other kind, my other videos, just so you guys can see a, a scripts in action and know what you can do, and see some fun projects. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, it's really helpful for me if you guys subscribe and like the videos. Um, I moved them all to monet to be monetized, so now I'm using it as a little bit of a source of income. It's not much, but it helps um, and it makes it easier for me to set aside time to make these videos. So help me help you guys. And I appreciate you guys watching and keep commenting. I'm making note of everything you guys suggest and I will be making more videos. Thanks guys.